thank you for watching the uh, the first video so in this second video i'll be explaining what is causing your app not to showing um the products that you just requested from google play right so and also i'll be showing you how to set up your testing device for in-app purchases so if you are new in this channel this channel is a short course channel we are focusing on in-app purchases for google play right so you can subscribe if you like this content thank you very much so guys now then when you try to request products from google play then google play it does not recognize your phone and it does not um, return a list of those products that you requested from google play the reason being is that it could be one of these so i will walk you through what you need to do to solve this right so the first thing that you need to do ne? make sure you have um billing permission in your manifest file then the second thing you need to sign and upload your app into internal testing only if your app is still new and you want to test before it goes to production if your app is already in production then you can just add the dependencies and also add the billing um uh the billing permission into your manifest file and then push an update into your production app then you are done with that then that that thing that you need to do is make sure you have one gmail account then that gmail account you need to add it into your license testing and your internal testing so let me just show you what i mean by license and internal testing so you need to open up your your google play console account then under the menu here on the left hand side you need to scroll down expand setup and then go to setup then under setup go to license testing then under license testing you need to take this email account just put it there then edit here under license testers right so then you can save those changes then if you have more than two or three people that you want to use to test your app again you can just include those emails here and then the second step is to go to your internal testing here under testers go to internal testing then create a mailing list with your friends or you can just have one email here then add that email which is the same email make sure it's the same email don't add a different email because it's not gonna work then you can just check mark this and then you can save the changes then the last step that you need to do with that email you need to go to your testing phone you can use an emulator you can use your real phone make sure we are using the same email here so as you can see this is the same email that is under license testing and internal testing and make sure you only have one email address here. if you have more than one try to remove uh, the other emails or make this one the main account into your app store this is the app store app right then we are done with that then let me go on then the fourth thing that you need to check is check if you're using a subscription product or in-app product so most of the people what they do is they come here when they're creating a list